Hi guys, Farming Up Bananas Extra here, and for the summer holidays, or most of the summer holidays, I've made myself a little project to get on with, which is a text based game, and one of my friends suggested it. So I'm quickly going to show you some of the code. I can't really explain all of it because it's mostly just if statements and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I can sort of show you an example and some of the code and stuff. This is uh, the code. If I scroll down, this is all the stuff I've done so far. Obviously, people in the comments are going to be like, "Oh, you can do this better. You can do that better." If they know a bit of code, but anyway. But um, yeah, basically. Oh, also, this is running in uh, Eclipse, which is a Java development platform. But um, I am. Um, you can get a thing called PyDev, which is like Python development inside this, and it's really it's a lot better. I'll do a tutorial on how to get it, maybe next tutorial. But this is really good. I, we can do our code in here. That's what I do on my code in normally more my um normal code. But yeah, this game is called Lywen. Lywen. Yeah. Um, I can give you an example uh, quickly. Oh yeah. Also, um, make sure you keep commenting on uh, and messaging me and stuff and what applications you want me to make on the weekends because I'll make them. But this weekend I haven't really had any, so I just decided to make this. Double click on this, it opens it up in here. Right, this is the like splash screen, the title page, and basically gives you all these commands here. You can do now at the moment. I'm just focusing on the actual game rather than all these other ones, but these are, the other ones obviously work. So you can type in credits, and it tells you what the co who coded it. Other like my friend's channel because he suggested it. Exit to return the home screen. Right. Yeah. So you have the start, which is the game introduction. You have the quick start, which is skips out the introduction and sets your name to prisoner uh, instead of it. Yes, instead of going through the whole like get name sort of getting your name sort of thing. Um, options quickly. See, it tells you some of the commands and stuff. I haven't finished that yet because yeah. But I'll show you the example of the game now quickly. This is all I've done so far. It's taken. This took me a while. Hopefully, you can read. So, you can read pretty quickly. So, hopefully, yeah. <clears throat> but basically, this is just the, or the when you see these skips between them, it's just like the uh, time command, and that's just like how many seconds you want it to wait and stuff. So you see here it says the name. My name's Brian. What's yours? So here you enter whatever your name is, and see it prints a statement. Like we learned this one tutorial, it prints a statement with your name on it. And this bit here is um, it just asks you how many days you've been in, and depending on how many days, this is what I'll do a tutorial on. It prints a different statement. So you see this bit is just the bit that gets your name uh, for the rest of the game, and that so far it works all right. I have to uh, do a couple of things to make it work again, but. So you press enter to continue. But basically, this is just the introduction, introductory sort of stage. Uh, you press enter, and you actually get into the main game. But anyway, this game is based like you're in a prison, and you have to try and escape. Um, and there's different things you can do at different times to try and help you and help you proceed and stuff. So you see here it says it's 12 o'clock at night. All the other inmates are asleep. You're laying upon a dirty camp bed, and there is a musty cupboard beside you. You can either look around or go back to sleep. When you're finished looking around, you must return to sleeping. So what you can do, you can look around like that, and you see it prints. You're in cell number 73. There's a couple beside you, and you're on a bed. Also, some of the other inbuilt commands you can print. You press I or I and V or inventory, and you see it, it's a list with all the stuff you've got in your inventory. So we just open uh, open the cupboard. Uh, open the cover with a note, a mouldy piece of bread, and two poker chips. So we pick up bread. Oh, bread. You see, you pick up the mouldy bread and stuff it in your pocket. Now, if we press I, you see it's added, it's appended it or added it to our inventory list. And then we just press I, it prints out whatever's in the list. So it prints out whatever's in our inventory. And you see, it just says mouldy bread at the moment. Uh, obviously, you can try and eat in it, but at the moment, it's just like, yeah, like that. <laughs> That's an example. Also, you sleep when you finish everything, and it just prints the next bit. Dog, I was just a tester just to make sure it worked. But that is about it for today. I was just showing you this to make a quick video because past couple of days I haven't been able to because we had a big house move around and lots of stuff happening and all that. But um, yeah, and that's it. And 
or update the game every like one week, two week, whatever. And uh, hopefully it'll be finished by the end of the summer holidays, and I can put it on my media fire. You can get it and whatever. Um, but yeah, just keep commenting, keep uh, telling me suggestions for my weekend specials on making all those applications and stuff. And I will see you next time.